Hey everyone, and welcome to Trend Micro's how-to series of videos. My name is Nicole Eby, and I'm a tech lead here with Trend Micro Tipping Point. Today we're going to talk about flow management filters, which are a special subset of filters we've created that allows you to only inspect a specified amount of traffic in a network flow before trusting the rest. I mean, so why would you do this? Well, a key concept in network security is the balancing act between security and performance. If you tilt too heavily in one direction, the other end can experience some challenges. So you should weigh what's important to your organization and make choices based on those priorities. As an example, there are situations where large files are transferred over the network, say backups, FTP, something like that. Our TPS and IPS devices inspect every single packet that traverses the network for malicious behavior. And for large files, that can add up to additional transfer time. If your environment is heavily dependent on these transfers, finding ways to make these flows more efficient can be really helpful. And that's where flow management filters come in handy. What's important to understand is that in the vast majority of traffic, attacks are contained within the first five megabytes of the flow, which means once that initial five megabytes has been thoroughly inspected, you can let the rest of that traffic pass uninhibited, and that speeds your transfer throughput. We've got some options you can use to tweak how these filters work in case that's a little less secure than you care for, but that's something I'll walk you through in our demo. As you saw in the last slide, we're working with an 8400TX and an SMS, both running 520 code. The first thing we want to do is have a look at the flow management filters themselves. And to do that, we'll use the SMS client. Let's go to Profiles and then Inspection Profiles. We're going to use the default profile for this demonstration. Click on Search and then in the Filter Name field. Here you can search with a variety of terms, but for our use, we'll just simply type flow management and click search. As you can see from the results, eight filters show up, four for TCP and four for UDP. There's also four different thresholds listed in parentheses to let you know what the threshold of inspection is in each filter before traffic is allowed. Higher inspection thresholds are more secure as more traffic is being inspected but you'll lose some performance on each flow accordingly. Be sure to only select one of each type of flow management filter, TCP and or UDP. Enabling multiple filters with thresholds is redundant, and we'll stop inspecting at the lowest threshold selected. To activate one of these filters, double-click on the name to bring up the configuration menu. You'll want to use filter-specific settings here, and most importantly, you'll want to choose the Trust Action set not permit or permit plus notify. Click OK when you're done. Remember to distribute whatever profile you made this change to in order for the filter to take effect. So how can you verify your trusting traffic? You could use the trust plus notify action set for testing in your network, so you'll get notifications every half hour by default that this filter is in fact working. Once you've confirmed that all is well, you'll still need to change the action set back to trust only and redistribute the profile for normal deployment. But if you want to save time and distributions that may require change control, try leaving the trust action set alone and instead verify you're seeing these sessions logged in the trusted streams table. From the SMS, we'll navigate to Devices, choose your IPS, Events, and the Trusted Streams tab. Here you can see all the traffic that's been entered into the table, which is searchable and sortable by various columns to help you narrow down your search. I'll overlay a quick example of what these entries look like for you. There you go. Notice that this screen lists the filter that entered the flow into the trust table in the right-hand column. And that wraps up our how-to for flow management filters. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to our Tipping Point Technical Assistance Center. And thanks so much for watching.